as ever with the Daily Mail and rejoice, Christmas is looking safe. And there is a picture of Her Majesty also looking safe and reasonably rejoiceful as well. She is spending Christmas alone. Perhaps that's cheered her up. The Guardian leads with COVID surges, but cabinet split means no extra curbs for now. And a strange poster of a sort of Boric Presidente, which I believe is something that's happening in Chile, home of the small earthquake. I will unite Chile, vows new leftist president. The Independent goes with Johnson Delay's decision on COVID restrictions and Kernsberg to leave top BBC role. Laura Kernsberg is stepping down as political editor at Easter. I don't know if the timing indicates a messianic tendency. The FT has Johnson faces cabinet deadlock on COVID curbs before Christmas, going for a lot of artsy alliteration there. And Boric triumph, Chile ditches centrist elite. Also, UK court ruling hits Maduro's push for $1.9 billion in Venezuelan gold reserves. Quite a significant amount of South American news there from the FT. The Mirror leads with Her Majesty cancels plans amid national confusion. PM refuses to clarify what new rules are. On the cards, Queen's Quiet Christmas. The Telegraph leads with confusion at Christmas. PM urged to give clarity over COVID rules as Cabinet refused to back new restrictions and Queen calls off Sandringham trip. That's a picture of her there from last year's uh, Christmas Day address. Perhaps they'll be repeating that. They've been doing it with the University Challenge. I noticed halfway through the second episode, I recognised Dade Edmondson's shirt. Also, Rob's Taylor made excuse and Rachel Riley's £10,000 libel win. The I has Christmas lockdown blocked by Johnson and Cabinet and the Sun leads with Hold on to your baubles, PM warns of new COVID curbs at any moment. The Times has Christmas hopes grow as Johnson delays action. Vaguely sort of provocative, almost sexual insinuation to that version of it.